A dodecagon is a type of polygon. It has two dimensions, 12 straight sides enclosing a space, and 12 interior angles. Dodecagons can be regular, meaning all interior angles and sides are equal in measure, or they can be irregular, with angles and sides of different measurements. The exterior angles of all regular polygons will always add up to 360 degrees. That's because to go around the shape, you make a complete circle, 360 degrees. If you divide 360 degrees by the dodecagon's 12 exterior angles, you'll find that each exterior angle of a regular dodecagon measures 30 degrees. To find the measure of the interior angles of a dodecagon are a bit more difficult. Start with the generic formula to find the sum of the interior angles for an insided polygon, regular or irregular. The sum of interior angles equals n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Replace n with our number of sides, which is 12, and we get the sum of interior angles equals 10 times 180 degrees, which equals 1,800 degrees. Once you know the sum of the interior angles, you can divide that by 12 to get the measure of each interior angle for a regular dodecagon, which in this case is 150 degrees. To calculate the perimeter of a regular dodecagon, we multiply one side's measurement, s, times 12. If the length of one side is 17 millimeters, plug that into our perimeter equation and we get perimeter equals 204 millimeters. Now let's tackle an area of a regular dodecagon. For a regular dodecagon with sides s, the area formula is a equals 3 times s squared times 2 plus the square root of 3. As an example, the 2017 British one pound coin is a regular dodecagon. One side of the coin is 6.78 millimeters in length. What is the area of this coin? To start, we plug our measurements into our formula. A equals 3 times 6.278 squared times 2 plus the square root of 3. And now we solve for A. Our answer is A equals 4.41277 centimeters squared. You can round your answer if you wish. Let's try another example. Here is a regular dodecagon with sides measuring 74 centimeters. What is its perimeter and area? First, we plug the known length into our perimeter formula. So we get 12 times 74. This gives us 808 centimeters. Now, let's plug our known side length, 74, into our area formula and solve it. Our answer is A equals 61,310.130 centimeters squared, or 6.1310 meters squared.